next segment. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do in this segment, but we'll figure it out pretty shortly. I think I still have to make a shadow manipulation. Yeah, that's why I remember what I was doing. All right, sounds good. So we're trying to get some living logs. If we can find some, that'll be great. If we can get a tree guard, that'll be even better, because then I can show how to cut a tree guard. Um, and we're just going to make one in the middle of the night, I guess, is where I was at. Understandably not a good thing to do, but I have so many logs. I can go like this. And we still have plenty. We don't need this rot, but additional logs are going to be super helpful. Got so many logs, you can go back and we're going to make a bunch of chests too. <coughs> I even have armor. I don't think they have. I don't think so. I will go back and make some armor. Summer is just about over. So we're basically at fall right now. Can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah. So each season is about 16 days. Um, they kind of don't just start and stop, and kind of come on gradually. So now it's fall. So now all the grass is going to grow back again, which is great. Fall's the safest season. There's not really that much that goes on in fall. One of the good things about fall is... Um, if you start in fall, you have a lot of time to really do anything. Spring is the next safest season. The only problem with spring, as you saw in my first couple segments, is there's just so much rain. But that's not really that big an issue. I can be overcome pretty easily. Um, either by using an umbrella, or you can just ignore it like I did and go insane constantly and farm nightmare fuel. Um, I don't recommend that for, obviously, new players, because it's super easy to die. I almost died tons of times. Alright, so all this withered grass will, you know, start to come back. Whoops. Not good. Alright. And we got tons of berries. Now we got tons of logs. Which is great. And we can plant a bunch of trees. And see, this is great. Putting these traps right here is really good because there's a couple rabbits right here. Um, and you can just get basically free meat. If you put your base near some rabbits, you can set those up and you come back every now and then you'll find some trapped rabbits. So we got rocks here. We're going to we're gonna store this. And this is something we're going to burn. Um, and we're going to expand our storage right now. See all this grass is no longer with it. It's come back. And we can turn this off because things aren't going to burst into flames anymore. And now we want to fertilize all these because that's going to free up a lot of space for food. Um, so what I can do is after I put a couple of these things away I can go get get some wood. I'm going to make some boards with these for treasure chests. Kind of close. Um, we're not really fireproofing our base right now. I don't really typically fireproof my base. Um, fire happens only if you're kind of not paying attention. It's not a very common thing. And we don't really need that floral shirt anymore. <coughs> so we can put it, we can't put it there. Um, it doesn't matter, it's gonna rot, so I'm gonna put it on the ground. And we wanna go get some manure, uh, so we can fertilize these bushes. We could also do it with some rot, but I don't have much on me right now. 
so we're not really going to worry about that. Um, we already have a Presta Hat Neater, we don't really have any reason for rabbits. We can make rabbit ear mouse with them, but we can make a beefalo hat even easier, so we're just going to go do that. I'm going to grab my log suit to make sure that we have it in case we get to a fight. Oh, it's this one. I'll burn this. We'll put this over here near the fire. Um, and then we're going to make a new one then. We're going to make a football helmet too. Um, football helmets are great because they take up your helmet slot. So. One, two, three. Once again, I don't, these aren't really... This is a necessity. If you didn't have enough logs, I wouldn't be doing this if we didn't have an abundance. But it's definitely helpful to save time to be organized and really saving that clutter. Um, eye plants can come in and eat all your stuff uh, if you're on the wrong turf. They won't spawn on this marble. But So we don't need the axe anymore and the shovel and the pickaxe. We're going to drop that right here. We're going to use all our tools and then we're going to start making exclusively gold tools because... We have, um, Pig King, so gold's going to be easy to make. And once all that grows back, we're going to have so much grass. It won't be a problem. We have a torch right now, so we can go out at night. All this grass is going to start to unwither. We can get some monster meat, too. Um, it's approaching night, so we don't really want to risk it right now. Because we'll aggro all these spiders and they'll get pissed. But, that's a uh, level 3 spider den. So we're going to get rid of that tomorrow. And we're going to place it somewhere else. That'll uh, make it a den, a tier 1 for a while. Which kind of sucks, because we're going to have to wait for it to grow back before it starts really producing spiders. But even a a tier one is just plenty. You get plenty of spiders from a tier one. All right, so we have everything kind of in close proximity. Um, not always a good thing. This is kind of getting away these saplings. Well, that's fine. We're gonna. Constantly harvest twigs and grass. Um, that's going to help us because we're going to build a lot of drying racks and such. We got this. We can make some more meatballs. We take this rot. We can fertilize some of these. Manure is much better for fertilizing. We got plenty of it. We got a source up there, so we're going to be constantly making more. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of organize these. I'm going to make some more later, but I'm going to convert these ones to, like, twigs and grass and stuff. And also, like, charcoal. This can go in my inventory. We're going to put this over here. Got some mist materials. I'll take this chest and I'll put um, spider stuff in it. Um, as well as other stuff we get for killing. So like I have a kill chest, like bone shards, bones, whatever. Um, some misc stuff in here. We can put our traps in here. And our nets and fishing poles and stuff. An umbrella. All our tools, kind of. That's kind of organized a little better. Puffy vest is going to come with me. Um, we're going to make some more chests. And we want to watch out because we don't want to make our chests outside of this flingomatic. So, and these are close enough that they're going to catch on fire from this already. Um, one of the problems is when the saplings grow, it's going to be harder to open this chest, but I'm just going to rotate my screen when that happens. 
Glamour Brothers can go in here. These are bird drops, so they'll go in there. Then we'll do like fight stuff in here. So we got like fight, dress, something like miscellaneous tools, stuff from killing, and then like kind of missed stuff. We'll do rocks in here. Rocks and rock stuff. So you can drop our rocks in here. And in here we can do misc stuff like this. And we'll do magic stuff, flesh of gold, misc stuff, turf. It's kind of a misc item. And then these are like magic things. Alright, sounds good. So we got some misc items. Um, we got these for the kill in, so we'll put them there. And then we got some dress stuff, and turf is kind of a random thing, so I'm going to put it in here. Nice and organized. Just how I like it. we take half these twigs. We're going to reset our trap. Traps aren't that efficient, but if you don't have to bait them, and you only spend a small amount of time... I'm getting them. Each trap can be meatballs, so each trap is basically like a monster meat. And it's so much less risky than cutting, uh, kiting spiders. Spiders kiting isn't risky at all, but some people don't know how to do it, and they might die from it. So it is kind of risky if you think about that. Think about it that way. I right, need some more grass. And get more manure to fertilize your berries. And get a little more grass, make another spear, because this one's going to run out. And then once we have that, we'll be able to kill that spider den, because we're going to run out of spear. We got the hounds are going to come sometime soon. So we want to be prepared for that. We got our log suit. We're going to keep that in our inventory. So if we drop our backpack to wear something and then it's not there, next time hounds attack, that could be bad. Um, get some grass. Ooh, you escaped my reaches. Come back, tumbleweed. So we got enough cut grass. And we can make a spear. Yep, see the hounds are coming. Good thing we made a spear. We want to run out. So now our, our, our field isn't very big. But that's fine. It's as big as it needs to be. Four, that's going to kill two hounds. Each will kill a hound. So we're going to prepare for this. kiteable amount so we're gonna kite and now once it starts getting a little bigger we're gonna use this and kill a couple of them there we go done and each of these takes 10% remember right click or you'll pick them up which is annoying and now we got our another trap which is a whole another 100% we only spent 40% killing them that's how it's going to go from now on, and you're going to get more and more traps so you have a ton of traps. And we're going to place this right here, and right in the middle. And we're going to build a kind of around it. Eventually what we'll do is we'll just drop a lantern in the middle, so it'll be much less space. But that's in case it gets late at night and we need to use the field. Alright, and we got some more monster meat, and we can put that in here. And we got ourselves another spear so we can go kill that spider den tomorrow. Kind of a waste of a day, but... We're fine. Plant some more seeds. Oh, and we got our grass. Beautiful. 
This grass is going to be super helpful. Because we can make... Now we can make a bunch more drying racks. And I'm going to take... Open this chest. I'm going to... Drop some of that in. We're going to get a big roaring fire. So we can see down here. And now we got plenty of stuff to do. We're still working on that shadow manipulator, but we got basically like a whole like 14 days of freedom before winter. And before winter, we already got our fire. What we need is a beefalo hat. Um, and you could get uh, an insulated vest, whatever that's called, a hibernation vest. You don't have to, though. And it's going to be difficult because we're going to have to kill the bear guard. Um, I'm not going to go over the bosses too much now. I'll just go over avoidance. We'll probably tackle them in the second year. But it's pretty easy to fight any of the bosses. You can do all of that with some basic gear. Now we need some gold. And we're going to chop down these trees. Alright, and um, we're not going to plant these trees close to us. We're going to do use a different method to chop trees after this. That's going to be a lot safer. plenty of berry bushes, so we basically won't have to worry about food again. Um, and I'm going to go kill these spiders. We got our beard growing. That's good. It's going to insulate us during the winter, basically for free, because we have plenty of beard here, and we don't really need that. So we're going to aggro some spiders. Stepping on it will get them to come out, and then you have to be close enough to them to aggro them. And then we just get one. It's unlucky other. Do not attack spiders on their webbing. If you attack them on their webbing, it will get all the spiders to come out. And then a level 3 spider den, that's going to be some gold spiders, and they will kick the crap out of you, because they leap. And you don't really need armor for this. If, if it's your first time, I would wear armor, but we're going to do this and get all the spiders to come out. We just want to make sure they're off their webbing. Now there's one spider left. So we're just going to take him off anyway. Though there's no more spiders left in the dead, so it doesn't really matter. And now you, we can destroy it. It's going to give us a bunch of silk, and a tier 3 one will give us a spider nest. So basically we can relocate at least a tier 3. Great. Now we got more silk and we got the spider eggs. Silk's something you're really going to start getting in abundance of. And we got to shave some of these for a beefalo hat. That's basically all we have to do for the next season is shave some of these. So we, we're got plenty of time. And this manure is some, you know, free fertilizer. So, during the first uh, full moon, we'll probably go back there and do that. There's going to be two nights of the full moon. And we're just turning out to have so much. So now what we're dealing with is we're kind of dealing with like an abundance of food. Which is going to happen. Eventually, you're going to get to the point where you just basically have too much food. And some of it will get wasted. Once these regrow, we're going to have a lot of berries. And they won't need to be refertilized very often, either. And we got those farms working, too. 
and we got some spicy chili. <coughs> some of the food in the game can heat you up. Spicy chili is one of those foods. Um, we're going to chop the rest of these tree down, trees down. Actually, first what we're going to do is we're going to refine a whole bunch of this. Now we got a bunch of those, and we're going to take some of this charcoal out. Ooh, charcoal. And we can make some more drying racks. We're going to make these right over here, um, right next to each other. And we're going to make basically a field of these. And these can catch on fire in the summer, but before the next summer, not only are we going to make uh, one more fling out to cover this kind of half of our base, um, we're going to cover like this part of our base. We're going to build all our flammable stuff down here for now on. I pointed at the screen, but I realized after I pointed at the screen that you can't see that. And we need a little bit more of a rope. So we'll put this back for now. And we'll just expand that every time. Every time we get some, we'll expand it. We can plant these. And we got that. Um, we don't need our gold tools right now. I'm going to chop these trees down and get rid of them. That'll increase your heat if you're in the winter. You can make spicy chili. And our sanity is getting a little low, so we're gonna um, deal with that. And now we can make a golden axes. Now that we're out of those. And we're out of the shovel too, perfect. So you need at least an alchemy engine to make the golden tools or the luxury tools. And that's what we're going to use from now on. Because flint is renewable, but it's hard to renew flint. Whereas gold is so easily renewable because we can train a ton of stuff to the Big King. I mean, honestly, with these spider dens, we can start getting, you know, three or four stacks of monster meat, which will become three or four stacks of gold when we go trade to the Big King. Especially when we have a giant field. Okay, so see, this is a tree guard. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this on and this on. And we're going to go put some logs in our fire for the night. So the tree guard is super easily kiteable. But he does a ton of damage. You don't want to get hit by him. So what you're going to do is you're going to have him swing. And you're going to hit him three times. And run away again. You might want to do two at first. Answer it. But you can do three. You want to be um, really careful, though. Because they will do massive damage when it hits you. And you don't want to run back in while he's swinging. And tree guards have a ton of life. If you haven't noticed from this. So it's going to take you a real long time. We're going to have to deal with this. We're going to deal with these shatter hands real quick while we deal with this. Alright, so the other one's probably going to get there, but it's fine. We just need to take care of one so it wouldn't go completely black. Can get three hits or two. If you get a cycle bad and you feel like you just lost some time, just do two hits and run away like that. If you were Mighty Wolfgang or you had a Walking King, you could do four hits. So that's perfect. That was our last tree. And now we got that. We're going to get monster meat, and we're going to get these living logs. So now what we need is we need this, and we need nightmare fuel. And we can do this. 
can make the shadow manipulator. Place it right here in between these, protected by our flingo. <coughs> now we have this. Now we can make something like a dark sword, and we can also make uh, night armor, which is great. And we got more drying racks. We can replace these traps. We're just going to put them right here. Um, the rabbits will eventually wander into them. And we'll put this with our magic stuff. And we made our gold tool, so we're going to put our gold back. We got plenty of it still. And we'll go get the rest of these logs. And we can go plant these spider dens. Um, we're going to go get some pigskin and make a football helm. And then we're going to make a beefalo hat. We got our shadow manipulator. That can make us a lot of really cool stuff. Namely the dark sword and the dark armor. Which, the dark armor is one of the most powerful armors in the game. Um, and since everything you make it with is renewable, I'd advise using that over something like the Willisite armor, which we'll, we'll eventually encounter, but it's not renewable. So it becomes a big problem. And we got tons of seeds, and, but we have plenty of logs, so we're not going to worry about logs. Uh, we could go plant them, but that's just going to cost us time, and time is going to be a little valuable right now because we have so much to get done. We're in no rush, but we really want to get this done as fast as possible, all our stuff. And it goes in there. And see, once you know where stuff goes, you can just kind of jam it in a chest, as long as it's not full. We got monster meat for days, pomegranates for days, and we'll make use of some of that. We're going to jerk this. When our grass grows back, we'll have plenty more grass. There's plenty of grass around um, to find. And we can turn that into jerky. And those are going to be growing back soon. So what we're going to do is we're going to plant these spider dens so they can start growing. We want to plant them far enough away where they're not going to be loaded on the screen. Because when they're loaded when we're at our base, that's going to make it so they have a chance to turn into spider queens. It's not that much of a problem for us to deal with. The problem becomes it's annoying when it happens as you saw at night, and you can get you can get killed by them. Even if you know what you're doing, everyone dies, everyone makes mistakes, and they do a lot of damage. If you don't happen to have armor or the materials or armor on you, you could be out of luck. So, um, The problem becomes when they start making golden spiders, and those stun lock you. Um, you can be dead from that real fast. Alright, so we're going to take these, and we're going to place them kind of in a corner, or down here, so these will start growing spiders. And we want to place them far enough away where we can kind of trade off, get three from each. And we can just kind of like line this, this area with them, and we'll just kind of have our spider island. Um, it's really great to have like this kind of island format right here, because we can put all our farms back here, and we can kind of make a wall here. And um, what that's going to do is it's going to make so like seasonal giants don't wander in and destroy all our stuff, basically. Because we'll hear them coming if we're over here. We'll hear them if they like spawn over there. I don't know their spawn distance from the player, but um, we're not, we don't have to worry about checking our farms to make sure they're not burned down by the dragon fought or something. <coughs> Alright, and we're going back because our food's going to low. I probably should be on the road. Um... Got some meatballs to eat. We're gonna wear these traps out pretty soon. Uh, you might want to make rabbit earmuffs because um, it's easier than killing beefalo. If you're having trouble killing beefalo, I certainly recommend making rabbit earmuffs. It's just um, some rope and some rabbits. Rabbits are really easy to get because you just literally need twigs and grass. probably get three more berry bushes to even this out. You can make giant berry fields. We can continue this. We'll probably take this area up with berry fields eventually when we kind of have the time to just mess around and do some extra stuff. At that point, um, once we start getting past the year, I might do some segments where I'm just showing off what I did or do some important segments and do all the, the grunt work that you're going to eventually have to be doing a lot of work where you just like harvest a ton of trees or go harvest a ton of stuff. That can be a little dull to watch. But we'll be making like farms and stuff. We don't need these anymore. So we're going to drop these. 
And we do need some grass, and we're gonna need some logs. And this is gonna be kind of protection, so that we don't die like I did earlier. And this is a manure I usually put, even though I use it as, most of the time as fertilizer, I usually put it in with my fuel, because if you're in a pinch, you can throw it in the fire. Now seeds, the time to take to pick up seeds at this point is really not even worth it. It just isn't. Uh, we don't want to worry about all that stuff. You can hammer these for bone shards. Bone shards can extend your manure. You can make buckets of poop, which will save um, the amount of manure you're using. I usually don't even bother with it because I don't have a lot of bone shards. And manure is just so grossly abundant that it doesn't really matter to me. These pig heads right here, you find these around touchstones, you also find them in swamps. They really have no use. So we're going to hammer them and get pig skin. Alright. So we got that. We got more meatballs to eat. Yum. We're well fed. All our berry bushes are growing. And we got this pig skin. Um, we're going to make some pig houses with that. Also, it's worth noting, if I haven't mentioned this before, and I might repeat stuff during this, you can't um, place stuff or put wood in a fire in the dark, even if you're clicking in the right spot. Um, so you want to make sure you don't get stranded in the dark without a torch. You can take out a torch and then you could do that. So we got all this beautiful stuff. We're going to go over here, and we can make um, pig huts with this. We don't have to place it right now. We can also make a stone wall um, with that. And stone wall segments, um, we can't store those because those are going to be items. Stone walls are super useful for some stuff. Alright. So that's good. We got checkered flooring, cobblestones, uh, road. We can make some roads. We have some... Uh, turf, I think. Rocky turf, right? Yeah. No, oh, we have savanna turf. Oh, yeah, because we dug that up. Savanna turf isn't really going to be useful. <coughs> we could use it to burn, because turf burns really well. You don't have to, but some people won't, because it's not, it's not renewable. <coughs> no turf is renewable. But savanna turf, it doesn't really matter to me. And we can put these in, uh, in here now. At least one of them, because that's going to heat up. So when it starts getting cold, we can use that. Alright, so we want our pigs to be close, but not too close, because they can be annoying. When the full moon comes, they will turn into pigmen, and they will uh, annoy the hell out of us. So I'm going to turn my screen a little, and I'm going to build a couple pig houses right up here. And what we need also, um, not urgent, someone mentioned in the comments in one of my videos that they got struck by lightning like four times in the first... 30 days. It happens, right? But it's probably not going to happen. So, we need a lightning rod eventually. But right now, we don't. We'll be fine without one. Um, if it's not low down screen, it won't be struck by lightning. Uh, I guess I can just place one because I have so much gold and cut stone right now. Um, so, I'll do that. I'm going to get one of these. Actually, both of these. We're going to go up and we're going to do that. Just place it like that. We're fine. We're fine. Place the pig house. And we're going to need four more. Pig houses are great. Um, they'll produce pigs. We can come up and we can we can fire farm these pigs. Uh, we can ice farm them. I mean, if you just set them on fire to get them out. And during a full moon, we can also just come up here and kill some werewolves. Uh, but we're also going to use these to uh, chop trees from now on. Oh, I didn't place my lightning rod. It's okay, I need my trees. The pigs will help us chop trees. Which is going to be really great. And we're going we're gonna to have a better way to chop trees really, really soon. But 
for now, a really easy way to do this with no hassle is to just make a bunch of these uh, pigs. And we're going to just grow a moderate amount of trees. And they're going to get in our way like crazy. trees is relaxing. Oop. You don't necessarily have to make them super airtight. If you're uh, using like a mod like geometric place placement, it's way easier to like play stuff, but I don't really use a lot of mods. I might make a video about mods sometime. I'm using the mini map for convenience. I would normally actually just open my map constantly. Um, but this really speeds up gameplay, not opening up your map constantly. But and also, it's going to, you know, obviously, if I'm making a video, I don't want to be constantly dealing with my map. That'd be a little obnoxious. Alright, so we kind of need more grass. More grass would be good. Good. Meat. Hanging. Drying. The spiders are a little far away. It's a little bit of an inconvenience. You could place them a little closer. Um, I'm thinking about the future. I don't want to have to move them again. So anytime I make a trip up, I can just kill uh, when there's two or three spider dens. Anytime I make a trip up, I can just kill like, you know, 30 spiders. That's funny monster meat. And we're going to get this. What we're going to do is we're going to make another rope. We got that. And we're going to make a tooth trap. And we're also going to make a football helm. And now we are protected. The football helm protects, helm protects you the same as a log suit. And armor does stack in random giants and vanilla. It does not stack in a... It does serve together. So... It, does, it stacks, it just doesn't stack in the same way, and wearing more armor doesn't protect you more. You're basically better off wearing your most the most armor value thing you have. So we got three football helmets, and we got log armor, super well protected, and we got plenty of logs. And beefalo, let's burn, put my pine cones back in here, got this cut stone we might need for something and gold. We're going to eat some meatballs now and we're going to make some more. Um, what we want to do soon is make two crock pots so we can cook twice as fast. Alright, so make more meatballs. Um, do we have seeds? Yeah, why not? Why not? Um, planting these farms is a little unnecessary at this point. Okay, so we, we got our first day of the full house, the full moon. So we're gonna go shave some beefalo. We can pick this grass later. On our next day, we're gonna go get the glomer. He'll be available both days, and if we go down now, those pigs are going to murder him. we got to watch out for these guys, though. Uh -oh. The full moon's great because it provides you light, so you can go shave the beefalo with, like, impunity. Before, you need a torch, which isn't a big deal. 
but wasting a torch can, you know, not be the best. Uh-oh. You got pissed. Come on, man. I'm ruining my phone. I guess they're waking up. Fall asleep again. That's weird. I don't know why that happened. We'll just go do it another day. Another night. Or we'll continue right now. We only need a little bit more. Yeah. Something about the full moon, maybe. could also kill us, um, Beefalo. Alright, I'm gonna have to cut this real quick, then I'll come back. And we're gonna do a, a really short segment, and then I'm gonna have to do another segment pretty soon.